Oh, we live! Yes, finally. Thank you, dear LTE gods. <laughs> that was annoying. Uh, welcome to Takeo Onsen. I'm here in front of the station. It's a very small little town in uh, Japan, in Saga Prefecture. Um, it's a beautiful day. Uh, let's see if we can find anything beautiful here. <laughs> and sorry, so, so, so sorry for the uh, technical issues. Uh, it's this app that I'm using to stream, which is always giving me a headache. Um, it just, it's so random, like one time out of three when I try to start a stream, it just crashes on me and I have to restart the entire phone. Um, but I'm with you now and that's what, what matters. And I did also press the button, so hopefully this street crossing will turn green soon. I arrived here yesterday and did a little bit of shooting yesterday around here, but uh, I didn't really have much time to just casually wander around, so let's do that today. Finally! <laughs> that was a slow traffic light. As you can see, it's it's a very... What should I say? Low... Low density city, this. So it actually has a few interesting spots. <laughs> As the name implies, it's an onsen... Onsen uh, town. If these are eucalyptus trees, uh, I don't know, but I don't think so. I don't think Japan has, has those, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, here's the station anyway. It's like one train in each direction every 30 minutes. There's trains going to Fukuoka and Nagasaki and a few other cities here in Kyushu in, in Kyushu I took the express train from Saga yesterday that took like 25 minutes uh, but yeah there's some some hot springs uh, they have a pretty famous gate to one of the hot spring areas so I think I will start by by going there I went there last night to take some night photos of it actually um, and then they also have a super nice library probably the nicest library I've seen in all of Japan is in this city um, but I'm not allowed to shoot there uh, but uh, I do recommend that you look it up online Takeo City Library it should pop up it was re renovated a couple of years ago and it's, it's uh, really crazy to have like a library like that in a city like this whereas like all the libraries I've seen in Tokyo are like really old and boring but then here they have this really cool place uh, and then there's also a really nice shrine which I will take you to as well as a little hill that's full of plum trees that I also shot yesterday so that's kind of the what I have in store for you today. Then on top of that, I hope we can manage to get lost on some cozy small streets somewhere, if there are any. Uh, I don't know if because of copyright, but it's... Um, I don't know. We, we wanted to shoot that place for, for the project I'm here working on, but they they turned down that offer, so... Um, and uh, they do have signs saying that photos aren't allowed. Uh, they seem to be pretty strict about it. Which is a bummer since the place is so gorgeous. I'm sure that many people going there want to take photos of it and share with their friends. But I never really understand those, all those places that have like no photo policy here in Japan. It's, it's very strange to me why they don't want the free advertising.
So basically the shrine and everything is down here, but first I will go to the onsen area, which is in this direction. very quiet and very cozy little small town yeah you should google the library they, they you will see a lot of uh, photos yeah well there, there's not like not every place we reach out to want to be featured so and I mean that's fine I guess it's their choice but I personally I don't really understand why not? But again, they probably have their reasons. Is that a broadcast tower? Yes, I think so. It says NTT on the building. So I guess it's NTT Docomo, which is the largest telephone operator here in Japan. And for those of you interested in, in tech, I, I actually signed up and I, I have a plan with them now. So um, I switched data provider from SoftBank to, to uh, uh, Entity so, or Docomo. So that's what I'm using for, for my streams now. They finally launched an unlimited data plan for the first time ever. Um, Docomo has unlimited data plans. It's not cheap, but it's, uh, it's probably the best uh, service you can get in Japan. So. And considering how much I stream, I think it's worth paying for it. But it's not outrageously expensive either. It's like 8,000 yen a month. Oh, hello there, Black Cat. I think this is a kind of nightlife area. These are all like small snack bars here on the sign. Pretty sure that towns like this are suffering really hard now because of the. Oh, this is also a pretty cool building uh, because of the pandemic. Because they rely really heavily on tourism, both domestic and international. Uh, probably mostly domestic here, I would guess, but even the domestic tra travel is down quite a lot. Yeah, I don't know how much unlimited data is in the US, but uh, at least here in Japan it is true unlimited. There's no no caveats or daily data limits or anything like that. It's it's truly unlimited. So uh, yeah. It's pretty good. And it's the 5G 5G plan as well. So uh, as the 5G network gets more and more built out, I should be able to reach even better stability and maybe be able to bump up the image quality in my streams a little bit uh, again. Another beautiful day in Japan. Yes, it is. It is a really beautiful day today. And I really enjoy doing these streams when I'm out, out traveling because the rest of the day I'm just basically running around shooting as much as possible uh, all by myself of course um, so it's nice to have a, a, um, a bit of this social interaction with you my my viewers let's go down this street this looks this looks cozy um, <laughs> you hope we don't get lost. I'm sure there's 
several people among my viewers who hope that we'll, we'll get lost. <laughs> All right, what's the temperature? How could I forget? Always so important weather update. It is currently... Sixteen degrees. It's getting warmer today. Twenty. Light wind. It's getting a bit windy this afternoon though. Google frog weather. <laughs> uh, let's see. Do you think we can pass here? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe we're lost. How far from the city center? Well, I started at the station and that's probably as much as a city center as we we get to in this town so ah this was a one-way road <laughs> is the government still running the domestic travel campaign uh, no it got put on hold uh, when they introduced this new state of emergency is what a month and a half ago now uh, and I think it's pretty unclear I think we have to wait let me see if we go down this way I'll just be heading back to where I came from and there doesn't seem to be anywhere I can turn left because I want to get go this direction so I probably have to go back where I came from and then turn <laughs> getting lost is a trademark of any stream yes it is still planning to keep the oneplus pro yeah i think it does uh, i mean right now i don't think there's any phone that would give me higher quality streams so maybe an iphone max pro could be better but that thing is just too big and bulky to carry around as my everyday phone. So I think I'll stick with this one for now. We'll see what happens when the OnePlus 9 comes with its rumored Hasselblad cameras. We'll see if they put an even better sensor in that thing. If so, I might be tempted to upgrade. Uh, but uh, other than that, yeah, for now I'm fine. Oh, nice! No report, Nordic Design Shop. Wow! I need to send this, take a photo of this, and send to my my wife because she loves Scandinavia, maybe even more than I do. <laughs> yeah, I mean all those partnering with fancy camera brands doesn't really mean anything more than it can be seen as a kind of a statement that they they're trying to do something better than before maybe uh, we'll see Nordic design shop this place said on the sign I have to check it out after the stream a oh, nice shutter here. still sanitize your cameras after going on a shoot no I don't I mean I use alcohol on my hands frequently and I do sometimes wipe my cameras and my phones off with like alcohol wipes but that's about it uh. How far from Tokyo city center? Oh, I'm in a completely different part of Japan. So, um, yeah, about 
90 minutes by plane. And how someone asked how long I plan to stream for for today. Don't know, guessing around an hour maybe. So here we have a little bit of a map. That this is perfect actually. So we started here. Um, and I walk down these streets here. Now we're here. Here's that gate I was talking about. So I'll go there. And then I will go back to the other side of the station and go to Takeo Shrine and this plum orchard. And uh, then probably head back to the station, but on this side. And then I will pass the library as well. So at least you can see that on the outside uh, of that place that's kind of what i'm thinking about let's see yeah, it's been 15 minutes so far so i think somewhere in the ballpark of an hour an hour and a half maybe at most What's the city name? Um, it's in the video description. Takeo. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. Welcome back to Kyushu. Thank you. It's always good to be here. Coffee o'clock. I just had a coffee before. Actually, I just had breakfast before this stream. Um, I think finding a place that serves decent coffee in a city like this could be a challenge. But we'll see, we'll see. I'm not ruling it out entirely. So here we have that this gate to one of the onsen facilities. This is probably the most well-known iconic spots of this city. It's pretty nice. It looks this the inside too. It looks like it could be from some Ghibli movie or something. We love your walks. Thank you. Thank you. I love walking you. <laughs> I love going on walks with you. I love walking you. It sounds like you're a dog. Ah yes, that darkroom cafe yesterday. I'm kind of curious too. So th this place has like several onsens, like in this little area. I shot one of them yesterday, but uh, yeah, today I will just briefly show you what it looks like and then head out again. Yeah, on and cones. <laughs> this is not a shrine, no. No, this is a hot spring facility. Yeah, I think this gate is like a designated cultural asset of Japan or something like that. It has some sort of important status. But now I will head down to the opposite side of the town and where the shrine is and the plum garden. She and I again. Cool at duty for me. These are also Ryokans, I think. Pretty sure this is a Ryokan. Library 1.3 kilometer, shrine 1.1 kilometer. So yeah, I'll head to the shrine. 1.1 kilometer. Let's go!
Oh, thank you, Irvan. Good morning. <laughs> thank you so much. It's been a while. I haven't seen you and your iconic one, two, three, four super chat in a while. <laughs> Missed you. <laughs> oh, that's a fancy dental clinic. Yeah, all these streets are like Shotengai shopping streets, but it looks like many of the shops are closed. I wonder if it's like a consequence of the pandemic or if it's actually been in decline for longer than that. I'm not sure. Oh, coffee shop here. Ever been to Osaka or Kyoto? Yes, many times. Yeah, I'm missing the cone mod. So do, so does I. So do I. Uh, but yeah, it's in the middle of the night in Europe now, so it's not too surprising. And looks like we have some tin foil hat guy who needs to be banned. Bit of mirror reveal. Oh wow, look at this building. What is this? Yeah, it's very dead. But then again, I mean, we're in a small town and yeah, there's a pandemic and there's a state of emergency. So it's not too surprising, but still. place actually some sort of business I do not know I really do not know it doesn't look like it I just see a bunch of boxes in there paint bucket blew up yeah <laughs> probably Again, you know, when you go to the countryside in Japan, many places are really quiet and um, yeah, I don't know, it's, it's, uh, I really like this atmosphere, oh, this looks like an interesting, it's like a coffee shop and vintage loans, I think. Um, many places in Japan, or most places in Japan, other than the major cities, are, are having pretty drastic population declines. So, um, you know, I, I always enjoy traveling to the countryside and smaller cities, and I enjoy the atmosphere, but I can also sometimes feel that it's a little bit sad, especially like I was with a taxi driver the other day, and he was he was a local from from a nearby town from here and uh, he, he was actually from an island and he told me that when he was in school when he was a kid there was uh, 2500 people living on that island now it's 400 so you know in his lifetime the population has really dwindled to like a fifth less than a fifth of what it used to be and of course the schools have closed and whatnot and you hear that that kind of story is everywhere everywhere in rural japan it's the same the train trend is the same um, so yeah and when, you, when i think about it you know how would i feel if you know i went back to to where i grew up and 
there's only like a fifth of the population left and everything is like da- closed. The schools are gone, the shops are gone. It would feel very sad. So, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's a pretty severe situation for this country. There's still vending machines. There are, there are, and local vegetable shops as well. Uh, and high-speed trains. Well, not exactly here, but all over most parts of Japan. There's a lot of things still going on in Japan, and it's still, I mean, population of over 100 million. So right now, there's not a dramatic lack of people, but. Um, yeah, in some, some cities you can really start to, to see where, um, what the future has in, in store for this country. Population 48,000. Okay, thank you for looking that up. I should have done that myself. Um, it's also a common problem in rural Spain. I see. Yeah, I think... I mean, Japan is certainly not alone facing this issue, uh, but I think the decline is among the fastest in the world. I think now, like last year, the population decreased with, what was it, 400,000 people in one year? Something like that. That's a lot of people in one year. Hey, there's vending machines. We passed plenty of open shops though, uh, so many shops are open. But it's also relatively early. Um, probably gonna be more people out and about in the afternoon. And remember that it's also a Sunday, so a lot of people are just relaxing at home. At least they have a big post office. And look, oh, I didn't notice. Look at this replica of the of the gate. Lomong. Cute. Uh, by Japanese standards. And I'm getting really hot. I need to take off my jacket. So let me just put down my phone somewhere. I'll be back very soon. like a golf range. Yeah, it could be.
they do, like wanna say hello or like good morning or something they, they probably think I'm an English teacher so that's what just happened now video hitching oh yeah I, I can see that reception is not great around here also I need to make sure that I'm actually heading the right way I am okay good um, yeah you're closer to, to South Korea than Tokyo that is true yes I am closer to Korea than Tokyo And yeah, I can see that the signal is getting pretty weak around here. Hopefully it's not too bad. Hi, I must. How's your baby? Uh, she's good. She's good. I think she's still asleep because I didn't get any update from my from my wife yet today. <laughs> They're always sleeping very late when they can. I'm more of a morning person. My wife is an evening person. No, my, my wife and the daughter are, are in Tokyo. They, they never come with me on my work trips. Should work now, right? At least here on my end, it looks like the signal is back to full strength. It was a bit weak there for a while. But that's to be expected when we're in the countryside. Yeah, many nice old Japanese traditional houses that actually looks very nice and well maintained. Yes, here's the shrine. Here's the shrine. I think we can. I don't know, should we take this little bridge maybe? And that's the library over there some shopping mall I guess ah, I already hear this shrine music again that some of you were asking about in yesterday's stream. Ah, look at this! <laughs> Instead of a cone, they have a mini Tori gate. <laughs> oh man, Ray would love this.
Yes, Shinto shrine. This. So this ring here, you're supposed to pass it in this pattern and something good will happen. I, I seriously don't really know exactly what and I don't want to stand there and try to understand it. But yeah, beautiful place. I came here yesterday actually, so I was really surprised over how nice this kind of rare to see white shrine which kind of makes this a little bit unique and lots of these Really nice place. This this tori is very low. I could not pass through here without bending my without hunching. And then as we continue down here we will get to another very nice place. There must be many ghosts here. <laughs> I don't believe in ghosts. I'm just a bit worried if the, there will be enough reception down here. Signal might be very bad, but um, let's see. Hopefully we can, we can walk all the way. I wonder, wonder what trees these are. If they are cherry blossom trees? If they were plum trees, they should be blooming now, but they're not, so they're probably uh, probably cherry blossoms. Trees beginning to bloom? No, not yet. These are still not beginning to bloom. But the plum trees are, and we will see some plum, plum trees soon. This, I love this beautiful bamboo forest. It's really beautiful.
this big group of people to pass. Yeah, this is bamboo. Yeah, it reminds me a little bit of Arashiyama. Mini version of Arashiyama. Oh, finally, more people. Waiting. This is what we came from, came for. This tree is supposed to be several thousand years old. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like some stairs and some shrine inside. We're not allowed to enter though. Yeah, it looks like it could be from some Ghibli movie, right? Pretty cool place, isn't it? the story of Rashomon? Uh, I don't think so, no. Please enlighten me. Michael, uh, I've been streaming for 45 minutes, so you've missed a little bit. <laughs> but you can always go back and watch it later. But you were able to see the tree and everything because the the signal said it was pretty weak there but uh, if it worked all right i will be very happy Thank you Rockaway Siren for the promotion on Instagram. <laughs> Thank you very much. Six Michaels here now. Wow. There's just no end to the number of Michaels. 
more and more Michaels every day. Soon everybody in the chat will be a Michael. A lot of people here, people lining up to to pray. to the plum garden which is just nearby here I think I need to pray pay some respects to the vending machine gods as well I'm getting quite thirsty from all the walking it's actually really hot even though I took off my jacket I hate plants. I'm not a big fan of plants either, but the trees are beautiful. So what should I drink? I think I will just have some lightly flavored peach water. Momo. Like this sparkling mineral water, actually they don't have any, it's just natural or this peach flower, uh, peach flavored one. Um, sparkling water is not super common here in Japan. I mean, you can get it at the convenience stores. Oh no, this one is sold out. Um, the regular water is also sold out. Huh. So sure. There's nothing else I want to drink. Maybe some green tea then. I don't feel like drinking anything too sweet now. Here's another tree. Probably something about relationships or husband and wife. Usually when there's like two trees tied together like that. It tends to be some, the meaning tends to be something like that. Arm reveal. <laughs> yeah. Open this tea. Show us the bottle. Okay, here's the bottle. I'm not a massive green tea fan though. I mean, I don't dislike it, but it's it's very rarely my drink of choice. 
but this one was nice this one was very naka what should i say very lightly flavored nande saga ni iru desu ka ano shigoto de shizai nikimashita Have you ever tried the pickle plums? Yes, of course. They're very common here in Japan. Uh, they're so-so. I don't dislike them, but I don't think they're amazing either. I'm more a bitter flavored guy, I think. But I do like sweet drinks from time to time, but I'm always trying to not drink too much unhealthy stuff The way to the yes to the plum garden. So go kai down there. That's the, those stairs that over there looked pretty hardcore. I've ever made green tea from scratch. Yes, I have. I went on a tea workshop in uh, Uji a couple of years ago. Uh, Uji is a place near Kyoto, which is famous for being one of the top tea producing towns in, in uh, Japan. So around there we, we got to try like many different kinds of tea and like everything from the basic stuff to the super high-end green tea. Uh, and it was pretty interesting, like the flavor was very different uh, depending on when the leaves were harvested and and so on. Um, so that was that was fun actually and very educational. I liked it. So I don't know if you can see, but these are the plum trees. These are white. I think there's a few ones in other colors as well. If you can see the flowers are very kind of small but it's kind of beautiful let's head in here <laughs> so it's a little bit more lively here to all of you who mentioned that the town itself was so quiet. At least there's some people here. I don't know if you can see. I really wish I could focus manually in scenes like this. All the focus tends to be, get really confused. These are plum trees, ume in Japanese. Um, 
to be honest, I don't know if these also have fruits. I don't think so. Just like cherry blossom trees, trees doesn't have cherries growing on them. I'm not sure if these trees ever get like plums growing on them. I don't think so. Arigatou gozaimasu, ochimaru. I like the fact that it's all also very wild, like it doesn't feel so arranged. It feels like these trees just organically popped up here, even though they probably didn't, but little mountain in the background as well. I like that. Okay, so according to one of my my uh, Japanese viewers, these trees do indeed have plums growing on them. The kind of plums that are later uh, used for making umeboshi or pickled plums. So uh, yeah, I was wrong. That's how bad I am at biology. <laughs> Very beautiful. There's actually a little shop here selling coffee. Huh, but it looks like all the seats are in the sun, which is too hot. Oh, let's go down here and check this out as well. What do I do for a living? I'm a photographer. Uh, it's explained in the FAQ. I forgot to pin that. But yeah, it's in the video description. Some answers to the most common questions. I'm currently on a work trip to Kyushu and uh, I had a little bit of a gap in the schedule this morning so and look at this house it's nice nice colored as well um, so yeah I'm that's why I decided to do this stream but uh, after this I will head out and uh, shoot until the evening
めっちゃいい場所ね本当にそうですねすごい素敵なんかこれ東京だったらめちゃくちゃ混んでると思いますけどこれはあの。<笑>九州出身の自分でも佐賀は一度しか行ったことないまあそうですね佐賀はあんまり有名な県ではないですねでも結構なんかいい場所いっぱいありそう More confident Sweden at the moment. Yeah, I don't doubt that for a second. Sweden right now is pretty cold. Let's go up here. There's some sort of memorial. And then we can take all those stairs down. To be honest, the best thing about living in Japan is that, or living in Tokyo, is that it's so easy to travel to any other part of Japan. Tokyo to travel to a shopping center is a little bit more expensive. なんか普通の食堂、昨日、なんか普通のちょっと安っぽいの食堂でランチ食べたんですけど、そこでなんか焼き魚定食は、あ、someone's droning here。焼き魚定食はなんか1000円ぐらい。それは東京とあんまり変わらないですね。もしくはもっとなんか地元のなんか食べ物を食べたらもっと安いかもしれないですけど東京なんか飲食店はそんなに高くないと思いますねいつも旅行してるんですけど飲食店の値段はそんなに変わらないうーん When will you return to Tokyo? I will go back to Tokyo on、uh, Thursday. Samui kara haru ni naru nihon no fuke desu ne. So desu ne. Kono hen wa mo haru ni natta mitai desu ne. Demo, yapari, mikka mae wa ano Tokyo kara itta n desu kedo. その日はめちゃくちゃ寒くてなんか2度と
雪もすごい降ってた福岡でだからだいぶ変わったそう、I think I will head back down here past the library and head back to the station and then I will end the stream but I think from here on it's not gonna be terribly interesting so yeah if you're short on time or anything or getting bored feel free to to you know stop watching whenever um, yeah more more Kyushu I hope so I hope I'll be able to stream uh, more during my trip I think I will I think I will 今日の東京は21度です。そうですね。ここも同じぐらいですね。めちゃくちゃ、what means めちゃくちゃ ?It means like very, kind of in a slightly exaggerating way. Like, it's a little bit, hmm, how should I say? It's not like、uh, polite Japanese or anything. It's more like youth language. Good job. Pretty useful word though. そうですね、とっても、more like polite and more proper Japanese。But めちゃくちゃ sounds like stronger than とっても。関西はめっちゃ。関西弁でもむっさと特読を時々。言われてるんですよね。ええー、九州バリ。そうか、知らない。知らなかった。そう、they're talking about different dialects and different variants of this めちゃくちゃ。how it's。it changes depending on where you are in Japan。中の休憩吸いたい。ね。この辺休憩綺麗ですね。ごっつとかいろいろ、えー、知らなかった。So、this building here is actually the kids' library, which is pretty amazing. That you just the thing that there is, just the fact that there is a kids' library, is、uh, not usually, it's not common here in Japan. So this is the library, the main building. But it's, it's really a bummer that I can't show you the inside, but I, please、uh, look it up on Google because it's super, super cool and by far the nicest library I've ever seen in Japan.、And、I really love nice libraries. We have super nice libraries in Sweden actually. Maybe not this nice, but, but kind of almost. I wish there was a nice library in Tokyo. Stream 24 hours. <laughs> I wish I could. I wish I could. I never get tired of streaming. I wish I could do it more, but、uh, yeah. The Kill City Library. And again, it's really astounding that a 
otherwise so so quiet and small town such as this has a library this nice Starbucks inside yes that's true Side, yeah. So actually, this library is designed by Tsutaya, so which are the same bookstore chain that runs uh, T Site. So it's pretty similar. And T Site is probably what I would consider the closest thing in Tokyo. But T Site is a shop. If you go there, you're, you're kind of expected to buy something, whereas in a library, that's not the case. So it's a pretty big difference to me. Like, I always think, you know, the kind of services and facilities that a city or a place offer the people that they can use without having to spend any money, that's a good kind of indicator of, of whether it's a good or bad place to live with a good and healthy and humane uh, financial foundation. But that's just the sweet in me talking. <laughs> mm. Do they want compensation to photograph? No, it's not about that. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's not. It's just. I think it's just that they want control over uh, how their place is promoted, which is uh, still a pretty common way of thinking here in Japan, uh, even though it's very outdated in this in the world we're living in today. But it is what it is, and I can't do anything about it. Oh wow, look at the... Let me zoom in on this. I'm sure if you can see, there's a pretty interesting rock formation here on top of this hill. I wonder what that's a, what that is. Huh. I haven't seen it before. I mean, maybe not expected to buy, but it's like if it's a shop, you're it's kind of not really correct to spend a lot of time in there without eventually having it end in some sort of financial transaction, don't you think? At least that's the case here in Japan. Of course, you're like you can just go inside and browse for hours. No one will say anything, but yeah. If you want to like sit down and read, then you have to buy your 400 yen crappy Starbucks cafe. Did you go to Takeo Burger? No, I did not. I did not. Uh, hello, Yoko. I hope you enjoyed seeing your old hometown. Is it gas freeze in Japan these days? Um, it doesn't say. It's just blinking 888. So I have no idea. Since I don't drive, I have no idea if it's a hundred yen per liter or a thousand yen per liter. <laughs>
Ah, Yoko, you just got here. Hope you can watch the rest of the stream earlier. So I went to Romon in the beginning of the stream. So I started on the, I think, what's the north side of, of Takeo. And walked around there for a while. And then I went to Takeo Jinja and uh, the plum, plum Garden. And now I'm heading back towards the station where I will end the stream. Central Hotel. Yes, that's where I stayed. Yes. Nothing special, just a cheap business hotel. Relatively new and clean rooms, though. So. <laughs> Thank you, Yari. Good to hear that you're never bored on my walks. Your neighborhood Yoko oh I see <laughs> when were you here last time このベッドはスウェーデン人ちょっと小さいじゃないですかそうですねちょっとちょっとでもそんなにそんなに問題ないですけど僕はなんかスウェーデン人としてもちょっと背が高いですけどやっぱりベッドの長さはそんなに問題ないですねそういえばあのトイレとかお風呂とかシャワーの高さそれの方が問題ですねでもベッドはそんなに問題ではないですねあまりホテルレートあ I think I paid around 8,000 yen per night, including breakfast, and that's for a semi-double room. So it's a little bit bigger than the, the cheapest and smallest rooms. Because that's how I roll. I should. Yeah, that's my hotel actually. This one, Central Hotel. That's where I'm staying. So I will just go back there and grab my camera, and then I will probably take a taxi to a nearby town called Ureshino Onsen, where I'm supposed to shoot a few places today.
<笑>嬉しい背が高いそうかなでも日本に住むと背が高いはちょっと大変いつもなんかちょっと古い建物とか古い家に入るとよく頭ぶつ,くちゃぶつかってますとかそういうことが多いあと普通の路線バス乗るもめちゃくちゃ大変なんか席が超狭くて足が入れないとかいろいろ。How far are we into this walk? We've been walking for one hour and 23 minutes and、uh, yeah I think I will just hop on this swing and say goodbye to you all、um, because I need to work. But as always, thank you so much for joining me. Always a pleasure. Oh my god, I, ca I can't even use this swing. I'm, I'm way too tall. Okay, I'm not even gonna try. It's gonna end in disaster.、Um, so, yeah, thanks a lot for joining me. And.、Uh, Uh, yeah, I hope to be able to do another stream. Maybe today. I also hope to do a Patreon only stream as soon as possible, potentially today. So, yeah, for those of you who aren't members of my Patreon yet, maybe consider joining there.、Um, it's a great way to support my channel, and、uh, also you will get access to the Patreon only streams and a few other perks. The link. Are in the video description. You can also follow me on Instagram. You can check out my merch store.、Uh, and yeah, please like the video if you did like it. And、uh, if not, feel free to dislike it.、Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Thanks a lot for today. Bye bye. またね Hello. Auf Wiedersehen.